Today on FTI TV, we're heading over to Exotic Aquaculture Australia. Well done, buddy. That's pretty good. G'day everyone, my name is David Mayer, welcome back to First Time Reefer TV and today we are continuing our Melbourne LFS tour that just happened to turn into an LFS tour but we are today at Exotic Aquaculture Australia down here in Bond Beach, 515 oh, Nepean Highway. It is currently blowing a gale and there's like dust everywhere and it's going straight into my eye which is lovely but we're going to head inside and show around. Sorry? Someone as busy as cyclone. Do you want the microphone for a little bit? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna take us for a tour? Yes. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go, buddy. Yeah. Go in. So what have we got here? So the first thing I'm showing you is here. So this is where we always see the fishies. See that one is black and orange and that one, what's that one that had a horn? It's called a firefish. So that's a firefish and, and what's this? We got those things like some lemons. Yeah, well, do you want to walk us through the tank over there? Have a yeah. look at the big display tank over there? So this display tank is for what you are and this display tank has some snail in there, see that? Okay, how about yeah. I give everyone a proper rundown? There's okay. some coral there awesome. too. I'll grab that, thank you very much. So we're going to step over and check out these amazing, gorgeous, beautiful coral systems in a second. But uh, we'll quickly walk through the uh, flagship display tank they've got here. This is a water box six foot peninsula uh, run with a combination of, uh, looks to be like T5 supplement with a Radeon Gen 4s in the middle and then a couple of the uh, uh, blue Orphic bars which is uh, providing an incredibly even light distribution across this entire tank. And having a look at the coral in the tank, this is definitely doing the job. I mean, we all know that T5 is uh, going to be the king of blanketing light across the tank, but adding in those Orphic blue bars just gives the coral that extra blue pop uh, that you generally would not get with uh, just running your T5s only. But these are some spectacular show pieces in this tank here and these are obviously pieces that have been cherry picked from their shipment uh, whether they're for sale or not I'm not sure but I'm sure everything has a price tag in any store so yeah and it always has it yeah the filter's not quite picking up the color of these coral but the polyp extension is gorgeous and the color and growth is fantastic as well but this is a beautiful example of a really good mixed reef no, isn't it Aston not, not yet mate Got some beautiful scollies there as well. And everyone knows how much I love my scollies. That one's a nice rainbow colour there with a few different colours striating through it. Little island here of uh, SPS as well. Yeah. But you can see this is uh, such an exceptional display tank. My camera's not picking it up as best as I'd like, but uh, you have to come in and see this in person yourself. A couple of high-end frags up the top here as well. So be sure to come in and check them out. Um, Exotic Aquaculture are also a, um, a dealer of uh, all the Apex Neptune systems here in Melbourne. So they're a premium dealer for the Apex Neptune as well as the uh, Orphec light bars and Orphec light fixtures as well. Uh, I suppose that's why they've got a, a pretty strong uh, representation of the brand as well above their display tanks. Uh, got some of the cheaper range of products as well for those that uh, don't want to jump straight to your high end and want something a little bit more affordable. You've got these uh, budget wave makers here for as little uh, uh, Jaya style wave makers for $174.90. This is incredible value when you compare it to some of the uh, 
the big guns. But what do you want to show us? You're hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay, well how about we finish filming and then you can uh, have something to eat. Uh-huh. Okay, what did you see in the sun? Um, this sun? Um, uh, a coral. There's a piece of coral in the sun, that's probably recovering. They're running the cove skimmers here, same as the ones that you see in running at Reef Gallery Aquarium in my previous video. They run an aqua bee pump, which is fantastic, but uh, Ben's actually got some uh, media that's aerated here, and I'm assuming that's for uh, uh, stronger or more nutrient export, which is something that I'm going to try as well if the big tank needs some more nutrient export. But uh, aerating the media is uh, very, um, you know, underutilized in our hobby for those struggling with uh, nutrient issues as well. So we're going to finish this up, Aston, and then we're going to go get something to eat, all right? But these are the coral displays they've got here. These are five separate tanks and uh, three of them are actually counter lever hanging over the edge like this, just floating. They're absolutely gorgeous. Just let me run around and show everyone first and then we'll come back and you can tell us about the fish systems, okay? Counter lever hanging there and uh, all the lights running off these light tracks as well, which is a really incredibly neat setup. All the plumbing runs across the wall there. It's got some of the uh, Paul Twin Tran artwork up on the uh, wall there, which uh, if you guys haven't seen these, I highly recommend you guys check them out because these are beautiful UV 3D artwork. Uh, all one of one, handmade, and all reef related, and they are unbelievable. I've got one of the ones at home, and uh, these are just the best. So if we go through, I'm going to share a couple of pieces of coral that stand out for me through the systems here, but got this massive, uh, is that a symphilia? What's the actual name? Because I know someone's going to... Okay. I call it a symphilia, but I'm sure someone out there is going to correct me on the name on that one. And you've got uh, this gorgeous redactus here. That's just an uh, eye retina burning. It's beautiful in colour. A uh, couple of nice ricks as well. A couple of bargain pieces in the corner here. This hammer here for 120 bucks is absolutely stunning under blues. And uh, that is pretty much what I see through the uh, under the light here. And that's a beautiful piece for $120. Gorgeous pair of clowns here. Obviously just adding some nutrients to the system as well. Uh, but he's got a stack of these uh, little Goni frags here. They're 60 bucks and 39 bucks. Um, even these pieces here, 130 bucks. They're gorgeous. And heaps and heaps of hammers. Can you eat here, Daddy? Uh, there's no food here, Aston. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, heaps of hammers, starting as little as $40 for all of this row here. And then going up to $80 for the bigger parts and the reverse stems and the toxic hammers and the modelled ones. A couple of beautiful gold stem torches here. And that is $250 for those pieces. A nice and solid version there for $300. I'm hungry already. Yeah, okay. I know. We're going to get some food, mate. But some absolutely stunning pieces of corals and they're loaded to the brim here. Then we move over to the uh, SPS systems and you can see the amount of SPS colonies that he's got there. Uh, these are all collected by uh, UCA Australia. This piece here particularly has my attention. That is nearly like a, uh, like a highlighter, green, yellow, with some beautiful polyp extension there. And then uh, a couple of pieces like this one here. It's got some nice bright yellow polyps on it. This is almost a yellow acro and a couple of other pieces. So starting from $35 to $45 to $55 to $75, and these are $85. And a couple of frags there down the end as well. Uh, some great value for some high, high quality SPS pieces there. When we move over to these systems, we've got a couple more frags, and this is sort of where all your nice uh, chalices are. Check out that for a gorgeous piece. So that one is absolutely stunning. Got this one here with different striation colors as well. This PT is just bright as anything. There's a afterburner chalice hiding underneath this rack here. Some zoanthid frags, some little gold chalice frags as well. I'm gonna try and get this color a little bit better. Obviously it's incredibly blue, so it doesn't make it a little bit difficult. 
this piece here is absolutely stunning. Some more gold chalice frags as well. At incredible value uh, for 140 bucks for a piece like that. You move over to this side, and this is where we've got all of our acans and scollies. So this piece here has certainly uh, grabbed my attention. That is like a very Iron Man style, but perfectly rounded, grown really well on that frag tile. Um, and that's worth every bit of that $190, if not a little bit more, because that is like perfectly symmetrical and an absolutely stunning piece. Uh, a couple of frags here that are, are, are much cheaper as well, as much as $49. These guys here are $79, and that piece is gorgeous. And we've got a couple of button scollies. Everyone loves their button scollies, and they're only 49 bucks. And then we've got some larger colonies of acans as well. Um, and this one here, that's my new baby. That's coming home with Daddy. Uh, not today, though. He's going to hold it for me. But that is a beautiful piece. Probably doesn't pick it up as well in the color. Oh, there we go. So it's got a little bit of bleeding edge around it. Nice yellow rim and then a green center inside. This one here is another gorgeous piece. I'm going to try and find out how much of that piece is there. Uh, nice UFO scully and a couple of other scollies. What's up, Aston? You want the microphone? What are you going to tell people? Um, about the tanks. The tanks have lots of coral and things and like some gunnings and frags and the sticks are the point, the coral and fish just like, like that. And that's called, what's that called, Daddy? That's called a scully. And that is called a scully and that fish. Fish is called, uh, that looks like a black clownfish of some sort. It is, okay, so play. It's a black clownfish. Okay. Alright, shall we finish up the video now? Yeah. Okay, pass over the mic. Can I just do one more thing? So, this, this, what is that? It's another chalice piece as well. That's a chalice piece, now yeah. your turn. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so I'm going to quickly wrap up this video because my wife is waiting for me. But uh, these are one of the most beautiful coral systems that I've seen anywhere out of all the stores that I've been to in Australia. And they're certainly filled with coral to match as well. Uh, we do have the fish systems here that Aston did walk us through before. Um, and look, they're not going to be your most uh, like sterile environment, but Ben believes that your fish are much more comfortable by having live rock and things for the fish to pick at rather than having these pristine uh, show tanks for fish. Um, and it allows the fish to have structure to hang around in and pick little critters off the rock and have a natural environment almost. So um, that he finds that fish are much less stressed in that sort of environment. And uh, Ben has uh, bred clownfish before as well, so he's very accustomed to what fish want. So uh, he knows what he's talking about. But. Uh, it's a bit skinny on fish at the moment, just like I said, a lot of aquariums are sort of struggling to get a, a good amount of fish, so there's not too many around, but he has got a new shipment coming uh, next week. But we've got the range of uh, products here, so if you guys are in, after any of this uh, vibrant he's got here, he's got ICP test kits, the uh, Seachem range of products, as well as the uh, Coral Essentials range of products. He's got the uh, Cove uh, calcium reactors up there. Um, as well as Dr. Tim's, uh, heaps of different range of products here that you can come and check out. Uh, all the stuff that you need for your tank from cycle to, to, to end game as well. And another, you know, uh, little display tank which is obviously for uh, just your beginners getting into the uh, industry or into the hobby. Um, so it's good to see that aquariums always have one little tank that is achievable uh, for a, uh, a for a beginner to get into this hobby. Uh, so kudos to them. This is the uh, new Barrier Reef Labs food, which I'm about to drop a review on as well. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I reckon it's a fantastic food. Uh, so we'll drop a review on that soon. Uh, but do come down to 515 Nepean Highway and check out this store. That's Ben just standing in the background there, counting all his money in the till. Uh, but come down and check out these systems for yourself at 515 Nepean Highway in Bond Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed that tour around Exotic Aquaculture Australia down here in Bond Beach, Melbourne. It's definitely a store that you guys have to come down and visit. 
because they've got one of the most beautiful coral displays here and it's uh, definitely filled with some of the best coral as well. So if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. You stop it now. If you've got any questions about this, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe as well. And my friends, until next time. I wanted to say that. Okay, say it. Until friends, next time. Peace. Yeah. And boom. Okay, you just smashed the camera. <laughs> okay, you say bye. Bye. See you later. See you later. Bye. Alligator. Alligator. <laughs>